everyone, and welcome to the first ever uh, Existential Gamers podcast, gaming podcast. Uh, I'm Michael, your uh, lovely host, beautiful host, amazing host. Can I talk about myself anymore? And this is my guest, Josh Green. Hey, guys. Can you tell we have it that we started over so many times? Because it's, it's, it's happened. Uh, you'll you'll never know due to the <laughs> magical power of editing. Yeah. Even <laughs> the the problem was is I didn't even turn my mic on last time. So even if I was to post what happened last time, it would just literally be Josh talking to himself. So. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. This Which is nothing <laughs> out of the norm. That's what we all do, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so this podcast is just gonna be. Uh, just kind of an extension of my usual streams except that they're not going to be live and they're just going to be me and josh shooting the shit while i play a game that i'm playing for the week so yeah i hope you guys enjoy let me know how it is uh, let me know if you want more in fact i, I could probably just say forget streams and just do full-time this so you know, it'd be fun Should we give them a little background of, the, of what the deal is with me and oh, how right. how this came about? <laughs> so, the reason I have Josh here is that he doesn't play a lot of video games, and I'm the complete opposite. I play a lot of video games, so it's kind of this mm-hmm. like balance of uh, experience. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I, like I said in the previous recording while I was talking to myself. <laughs> I haven't really touched a video game since the last game produced for PS3. So, and I mean, I've played indie games here and there, but I just haven't done anything video game wise for a while now. This conversation sounds very familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's very. <laughs> it's been expanded on a bit. This is the new, That's this nice. is the reissue edition of the conversation. <laughs> Remastered. <laughs> yeah, we, we got an epilogue now. So, the game we're going to be playing today, Josh, yes. this game is called Lobotomy Corporation. As you can see, I'm streaming this to him so he can observe as I play. He's not here with me. He's not, like, you know, next to me or anything. He is somewhere across the world, right next to right in the city next to me. Probably the same I'm city. like, <laughs> when, I, when I did this on MapQuest to get to your house on Sunday, uh-huh. I think I'm, like, a, mi- a mile and a half away. Oh, okay, so yeah. You're not so, sure. it's, it's not <laughs> I mean, you're very... It's what I was like, I could, I could literally walk to your house. It may take me 20 minutes, but if I drove, I'd be there in like five. Well. <laughs> yeah, but I wish I was far away. It'd be cool if I was in Japan or something. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, I'm watching my buddy play video games while I'm sitting here in a very small apartment crying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, um, so this game, Lobotomy Corporation, uh, is a management game, management like simulation game, uh, where we're managing okay. abnormal entities like, uh, what's the word? God, I thought of the, a good word and I, now I'm losing the words. They call them abnormalities. <laughs> They're basically like, do you know what SCP is? It... <laughs> no. no? Well, they're basically going to be like, laughing a lot. Uh, you, okay, you're a movie guy, though, so you should know this movie. Uh, do you know Cabin in the Woods? Yeah. Okay, so basically think of that. You know how they have all the little containment chambers? Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. We're managing, like, strange creatures and possessed things, and we're, make, we're, we're harvesting energy out of them. Like, all right, so... Monsters Incorporated. It, <laughs> Cab, Cabin in the Woods meets Monsters, Inc., yeah, the game. Except, except instead of the monsters getting energy, Sounds parasitic. <laughs> so what we have so far, and as you can see, I already have you in the game. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was prepared. Oh, damn. I, I set this up for today. Uh, so it's me and you are on the team right here. We're on the new area. Uh, we have our control team over here. We have these three guys. Uh, they're doing okay. Um, but uh, let me introduce you to our uh, abnormalities we have so far. So the cover of a death metal album? <laughs> His name is One Sin and Hundreds of Good Deeds. He's pretty much the skull of Jesus Christ. That's what I call him. He forgives you, he's um, Makes you feel good too. Does he also play Rain in. Uh, what's the lyrics? Uh, 
<laughs> oh, I totally messed all that up. Hang on. If, if you talk Everybody. About, like, plays, like a metal album or something like that? Or? No, like Slayer's Rain and Blood. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Rain okay, and Blood. Well, that was right. I was on the right track. So if, maybe if Slayer did like some church music, because that's what plays when you talk to him. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, the next one we have is uh, 1.76 megahertz, which is uh, a very... Vaporwave album. Very... <laughs> Everything's an album. Yeah, what was all these? I'm gonna... Album, I'm right? gonna... Like, yeah. That was a cover album. That's the cover of a Japanese rock band who performs with a uh, with a uh, sitar. I don't know. That one. That one was forced. So all these have stories, but I, it's too many to go over. But this guy pretty much—it's yeah. uh, basically contained emotions in a room that's turned into radio signals. It's weird. Um, this so Radiohead. Yeah, Radiohead in a room. That okay. <laughs> The crumbling. I'm gonna let you. <laughs> that was high. <laughs> Dude, this whole point where you're supposed to butt in and just be like, yes! This is exactly yeah. what I'm thinking right now. But there's gonna be a bunch of video games nerds that are gonna be all like, fuck this guy and his <laughs> stupid music references. All he uh, talks about is music. Speaking of music, we have a Wu Tang playing here. Uh, Shit. <laughs> crumbling armor. So this thing's a pain in the ass because, okay, so it's basically armor that was like passed down from generation to generation, but if uh, you show understanding too much emotion, now it's why it's crumbling. Yeah, if you show too much emotion, apparently it cuts your head off. And so me and you have what? both me and you have both used this armor, right? So we have yeah. the, the it like gives you motivation to wanna like pursue things. This is getting way too so metaphorical. By the way, guys, I, I I don't turn the camera on for this because I don't want to be don't want to distract you guys. But if you do want me to turn the camera on, let me know. I'll probably still say no, but you know whatever. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, me and you have this aura about us that because we use the armor, and if we mm -hmm. try to show any emotion towards any of these creatures, our heads will get chopped off. So I can't do that with this. Anyways, moving on. Okay. Uh, the mirror of adjustment. You look at the mirror, it makes you feel funny things, and your stats change. So it's like the big monolith in 2001 Space Odyssey. Sure, I've never seen the movie. I need to see that movie. Oh. That should be on our list oh. of movies that you see. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the Scorched Girl, I have really don't know much about her. Apparently she's just a burnt girl. If you don't treat her right, she blows up and kills everyone. Anyways, wow. let's get started. <laughs> so, yeah, in this game, I'm pretty much managing figuring out how to get the energy from people. Oh, okay, I've seen stuff set up like this before. Yeah. Freaking, uh, my buddy Andy played uh, that vault game oh, from Fallout. Fallout. Yeah, 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 there we go. Kind of, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, it's a management game like Fallout Shelter, but it's yeah. uh, very different mechanics. Um, I'll just say it looks the same. I, I, I for sure can't say until I watch you play further whether or not it's the same in gameplay and from what I can already see it's not <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing right now so I sent your guy in there you went in there just basically to talk to her and like see you use insight so there's four different kind of auras you know okay um, there's insight attachment it's a very confusing there's a lot to this game and it's like hard to go over everything I'm not probably not able to go over everything yeah. I, I feel like, though, the way you set this up, and especially with the character structure, there's a lot of, like, observational stuff you took from hanging out with, the, with like, you and me. Mm -hmm. And, like, you made that character based on what you remember about my personality. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a lot like, of optimization, so I was just like, oh, I'm just trying to make it as best as I can from what I remember from Josh. Yeah. They... I mean, uh, if we're going to get deep here for a second. The last time I was talking about stuff with uh, somebody, uh, I made mention that I felt like a bit of a parasite. So, me being a character in this game where I... Holy crap, what's going on? Okay, so what just happened right now is a meltdown. Uh, basically, it's saying like you need to, to send somebody to that room, otherwise uh, something bad might happen. But some uh, objects, just like the skull, he doesn't do really do anything. So if he has a meltdown, it's not really bad. But you will lose energy, so it kind of puts you back a little bit. Okay. So we're just going to send somebody right. to go there take go, care Kitty. of that. Uh, anyways, what was I? Oh, basically I felt like I might have been a parasite. 
somehow to people. And knowing that, yeah, I mean, to an extent, we we all have people in our lives that we use for certain reasons. <laughs> oh, that made me sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, just like. <laughs> no, yeah, I get you. Right. Yeah. Anyways, back to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, a, it's the comedy of life. So, uh, the last one, this is our newest person. It's uh, apparently based on a Korean uh, horror story where that person actually... hides behind stretched out faces to show their emotions. Huh. Yeah, it's apparently a woman who just hides behind faces to show. Yeah. It's weird. You see that? No, I, I, I've seen stuff like that before. I mean,. It was touched on, kind of, in um, Doctor Who. Like, they had that character who was a stretched out piece of flesh. Yeah, but she was, like, the whole thing. This thing that you can see, there's a person behind it. Yeah. Through the faces. It's really creepy. She's really meh about life. Hey, is this, um... Are some of these, like, creepy pastas too? Yeah, some of these are based on creepy. Okay. Because yeah. I remember you were talking about that animated YouTube show. Oh no, doubt! So, what happens? Things that invade our space sometimes. And I yeah. think a gun that pierces through everything is a different gun. You're gonna find out what you're going to do. But you solved <laughs> our problem. That's. <laughs> yes. That's. Oh, this, this game's gonna kill me already. I'm like, this is... It's got character traits I both relate to and feel like I should relate to. <laughs> I don't solve problems, at least not that I know of. And if I have solved a problem, nobody has told me that. You're gonna be all right. I know. I mean, she don't want it. We got no she do not want there. it. Wow, what a four. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, to the next day, we're gonna get a new monster to deal with. Great. So yeah, um... This is where we pick a new monster. Uh, this is one I've done before, Kode. It's a dog that turns into a giant monster if we make it angry, or if we make it hungry. It's like a cute little dog that turns into a giant. Angry dog that wants a bone. Um, she was so talkative before in the end, loneliness was the only listener. But what's Jesus. really pitiful is those like you dying in the hands of likes of, of the likes of me. Which one sounds better? Um Neither, honestly. Alright, well sounds like the one I should pick. <laughs> uh the, the the she was so talkative one was uh was the one that caught my eye. I do know this one. Uh, I mean, by the way, this is the the manager. I know I haven't like showed you the story or anything. So, um, you can save the person or harvest energy. So basically, it's saying like, if I send somebody in a very dangerous situation, would I leave them there or let them keep getting the energy, even though I know they probably might die trying to get the energy? Harvest energy. Oh. <laughs> we don't care about these people. Jeez, she's got a little wise crack smile on her face too. Yeah, she's. I don't. I feel like there's something sinister. Okay, because I haven't beat the game. I haven't beat the game, but I've gotten far enough where she started acting very suspicious, and she's just like, "Oh, why would I lie to you? Like, why would you think I would lie to you?" Because you tell her like, "I don't really trust you," and she's like, "Oh, why would you do that?" But I'm just a robot. Cause she is a robot. <laughs> how um, how many days, days, days? What? Like how many days are in the game? Yeah, how many days are in the uh, game? So you have to go through 50 days, and then you're done with the game. Yeah. What's the longest you've done? 25? Oof. Yeah. Well, that's still pretty far. Yeah. Oh, I can't use that one. So these are all the yeah, armors I collected through the game and stuff. Because if you restart the game, you still can keep the stuff that you got, so it's cool. Nice. Some of the stuff I can't use. Oh, kitty.
All right, Ooh. on to day eight. What did we get? We got an old lady. All right. <laughs> Would you trust an old lady, Josh? They just saw just rocking it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh no, send somebody in, let's see what happens. Alright, we're gonna send you. <laughs> I'm totally gonna die. I put five dollars down on it. She gonna kill me. I know she is. Old ladies and me don't mix. We're like oil and water. You have to stir really hard and nothing happens. Told you! <laughs> I'm going to die! Right <laughs> You'll be fine. You're strong. I made you strong. You have a lot of good stats. Look at that. You're doing perfect. Look at it. Oh. Nope. Oh, oh, nope. Oh. There it is. Oh. <laughs> There's the one. Told you. It's oh, going to happen. So you have moments in this game where it's like uh, Cabin in the Woods where everything starts breaking out and you're just like, well, shit. <laughs> Did you like that movie? Oh, I love Cabin in the Woods. Still yeah. haven't bought it yet. It's one of my favorite movies too. It needs to be on my list of movies to grab. Or it is on my list of movies to grab. I gotta leave that list alone and just focus on it. God, they're so abrasive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Stop. Send you back in with old lady. You're gonna hear all of her stories. So I guess I should explain a couple more things with this game. Huh? Uh, you see the little red thing that goes around it. It's the, it's the one that's the focus on the meltdown. Um, yeah. But as you can see, there's a little thing that says Dawn. Once I send somebody in here, it's gonna cause Dawn to start, and it's purple Dawn because the color. Um, mm -hmm. During purple Dawn, you're gonna see these creatures appear, and we're gonna have to stop. Okay. That old lady. Donna Violet. Right, so it paused. Have you, Josh, murder this thing? Murder. Yeah. Murder and death. Yeah. Death and murder. What the hell is that? I don't know. Thank God. Somebody's screaming. What? Would you be able to work in a place like this? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I, I bet you. I bet you the health insurance is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Probably isn't any. <laughs> like you're in here to research and you're paying us to do it. Nah, I'm good. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh, I sent you after this thing. Go be. I get to talk to the smiley face thing. Oh God. So what happens with I'm this good. old lady is that if you don't talk to her for a while, she starts like generating this black aura around her. Okay. And basically, she, if you go in there, the next time you go in there, it like hurts you. But nice. Cares, we finished already. Yay. On to the next day. We're doing okay. So that... Yeah, that's about right. No. What? It's about five minutes per day. Yeah, the thing is, you can um, you can just farm. I'm just trying to go through it faster because I'm sure you guys sit, watch me sit there and send people over. I don't know. This is my setup right now, and everybody can get an idea of what I'm working with. I'm using my cell phone, and then I have a pair of headphones that I bought that uh, have a built-in mic. So, it's like, I'm not working with much because my laptop's up at my uh, brother-in-law's house, or my, my sister's house, getting fixed. So, if and when he is, huh? I was going to say, do you plan on getting like a better computer or anything? 
oh, I'm going to get a better computer. I have another computer I can work with and probably use for Discord anyways. Mm -hmm. It's just I don't have an area for it, and I haven't set it up yet. So, and it's, it's one of those Dell computers from school. My sister's uh, old teacher she used to work with before she got Pregos uh, was just getting rid of a bunch of t uh, computers and she was all like hey do you want this one and my sister was like hey let me get a hold of my brother so she got a hold of me and i have a dell computer just chilling out being waiting to be used yeah i haven't even tested it yet i just gotta one of those gotta clean my garage out and maybe one day i'll do it is that an orb? So, we, uh, every time you always get three abnormalities, like creatures and stuff, and we have one equipment, and so it's one of the basic equipment. Mm -hmm. So, this is the fourth one of the equipment, and it's called behavior adjustment, I've used it before. And mm -hmm. it's okay. From what I know, but who, what do I know? I have played the game You got through 25 days, so I'd say you know something. Yeah, I know a good amount, but, like, every, when I was streaming this game, man, people were just like, Man, you don't know nothing yet. Wait until you get to the later games. And I'm like, shit. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Anybody who's bragging about how much they know about video games while well, somebody who's trying to play a video game and learn more about it, they're really being inconsiderate of, some, of, of that yeah, person. Really I mean, you're trying to enjoy a game. You're not here to get a lesson. of understanding. Where's the purple thing? Let me shoot it. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh god. Oh. There we go. Glasses back on. Um, oh, sitting here watching somebody play a video game. I've only done this a handful of times with my buddy Chris. If I get really, like, adamant about watching video game uh, play, I watch uh, Game Grumps. But, uh... Yeah. I'm sure they, they, of course, any YouTube video will edit it so that way it's all jokes, jokes, jokes. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I don't so, know give me one second. Uh... That wasn't audible, was it? What? Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I just heard like a... <laughs> Alright, well that, that was my hand covering the mic then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can yeah. hear that. Good. Good. You didn't hear the the uh, explosion of death coming out of the bottom half of my throat. <laughs> Oof. Yay, day nine. Right yep, like Kermit the Frog said. Uh oh, what's going on? Why is the music getting all the Oh, right. So apparently, Holy crap. yeah, apparently they have a uh, sensor on my visor that, should, that protects me from seeing all the gruesomeness that's happening, and so that's why everything looks so cutesy. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why it's like, it's like... Starts, like everything starts getting all like, oh, they're hiding something from me. You know? uh, they go from. Uh... What? You know what? Is this like kind of like that one crazy game where uh, the the book club game or whatever, where it's all existential and crap? Oh, you're talking about? Jeez, uh, I'm forgetting the name now. I know you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! I can't for, I can't freaking remember the name. Yeah. Oh. No, I watched videos on that one. Ooh, that one was, was creepy. It, the something club, right? It's... Yeah. The. the f 
I know, it's tough. It's tough to remember those ones. Yeah. Man, I'm almost... It's kind of like that. I don't know. I haven't finished the game yet, so I wouldn't know. You know okay. Like, I don't want to yeah. know. <laughs> of course. I've came across some crazy uh, abnormalities, though. I had one called uh, The Train Ride to Hell or something like that. And, what? Um, yeah, if you don't pay attention to it and you don't send somebody to it, a train will, like, appear and run over everybody, and it's, like, it's so annoying. <laughs> You have to micromanage that thing like up the ass. It's like so bad. Oh. After a while, I got the hang of it though. I was just like, okay. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be okay. This thing is so annoying. I feel like at point. Should I look today? Yeah, it's like it keeps moving, so like I can't get the right amount. Like, wow, but look at these weapons and armor. It's crazy looking. Just faces everywhere. Yeah, but yeah. I got some crazy stuff on here. The reason I started the game over too, because uh, I was at 25, but I couldn't go any farther because I got this thing called the White Knight, which like is like freaking God, and he picks his 12 apostles. Or I guess it's probably Jesus. Huh? He uh, picks his 12 yeah. apostles, and those 12 people that you have you turn into like angels, and they start murdering everybody. And you can't pause the game, you can't speed up time, you can't do anything because he controls everything now. What so the hell? I couldn't combat that, so I was like, well, time to use the time machine and go back in time. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. And so, I'll just, like, so if and when you see him pop up, leave him yeah, alone. Oh god, I got the freaking face. Of the <laughs> Did you see my face? No, I right, didn't come to this. I'm gonna click on my character right now. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What does it even do? Uh, let's see. I get minus two success rate, but plus four work speed and plus. Oh, wait, no. I get minus two uh, sanity, but I get plus four success rate and plus four work speed. That's hilarious. Though. So if you wonder. So <laughs> you wear that into that, my did. Um. Might it be more successful? Oh god. Oh, was that what happened? Uh, somebody went crazy. Right here. So, we need somebody with a white weapon. So, the different kinds of damage also uh, control what, um, what it damages. So, like, white damage affects uh, sanity. Uh -huh. But uh, red damage affects health. Blue damage affects everything. Like, it's just like the best damage. And then uh -huh. uh, black damage affects both health and sanity as well, but my form is. Killer! Oh shit, she's trying to open the Scorch Girls thing. She Stop her! Get her! Stop her! <laughs> That's why I'm, uh, I basically, uh, West here has a white damage weapon, so he like poked uh -huh. her a few times with the white damage weapon. Nice. Okay. No. We're, we're can you gain more employees? Yeah, I can hire more. Every time I finish oh. the day, we get more points to hire. Nice. Yeah. Let's just come back off. Squishing my brain. What's that? The glasses are coming back off. They're squishing my brain. Oh, no that. Tight oh, headphones. And tight glasses. Uh, how do you uncorrupt them? Um, I don't know. It just says he's out of control. I guess there's just a way for it to... <laughs> I guess it just holds him down for a bit. <laughs> he thought he's done, but he's not. Oh, hey, we actually got a lot of points on that thing for once. Oh, hello. Did you go in and do something with her? Yeah, apparently it was. Oh, she's not in a good mood. I think she can change her face in the middle of, like, you messing with her. 
and uh-huh. can, like, piss her off. I don't know. That's weird. That's a new one for me, so I don't really understand it. All right. Um, yeah. So everybody knows, because I have this wonderful power being full, full mobile right now. <laughs> Gotta make sure these dogs are taken care of real quick. Everybody gets to hear me, uh... Oh, you, you, huh? you, oh, never mind, never mind, I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. Come on! Cool. Yeah, let's get these dogs outside uh, in the bathroom. So, like, I've been, uh, staying... I, I've been working an uh, earlier job now, right? Like, I have to wake up at, like, 3 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And it is really affecting me. Like, I feel super exhausted right now. So you, well, what time did you get home? Um, where are you at? I'm trying to look for you. I don't know where you're at. Oh, well, you're way up there. I get home at 1.30. Oh, so, oof. Yeah. All right, we're done with you're like, end. You're almost like the hell with it. <laughs> well, no, the job is fine. It's just that I get tired at night. Really bad, Does that say Sephira? Uh, there's Sephira. So a lot of the words in this game are Sephira. based on uh, Jewish, uh, like Torah and stuff like that. It's weird. Ah. All right, so we got Fairy Festival. I don't want to do that. One. I want to do all the new ones. So Open Can of Well Cheers is uh, based on a, a, a superstition that if you drink a can of, of soda that's open, that you'll get like kidnapped. So this is. What you'll get like what? You'll get kidnapped and taken away somewhere. You know, nobody will ever find. You. Okay, so then I should be, uh, I should be gone by now. So this is where the conspiracy starts, where this guy tells you he's, like, B, his name is B, and that, that they're all, like, trying to not help me, like, I don't know, it's weird, I really don't understand the story very much yet, but, yeah. Unlock this this guy, or do we want to unlock this girl? Who do, who do we want? Him. The guy? Mr. Green. The guy that's like, nah, I'm in charge yeah. of the security team. Which I like to yeah, he's a joy. I don't want to put the <laughs> the happy girl into any turmoil just yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so. I'm. She's so precious. She's just trying to help mm-hmm. everybody, and everything just sucks. I mean, she chose the wrong company to, to try to help everybody. <laughs> um, let's hire somebody new. Get him! But I'm gonna put me in charge of this one. Georgia! Georgia? Georgia. Is she in the peaches? Maybe. Her hair is green, though. I don't think so. So she likes kiwis. <laughs> Maybe avocados. Have you heard of them Georgia avocados? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <coughs> send her in, see what happens. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, you got this. He won't murder this you. This looks terrible. He's probably gonna die. Meanwhile. Alright, actually, I wanna watch this. Oh, God, he's breathing. Hear this? I'm hearing it. He's a creep. Oh Get her God. out of there. <laughs> yeah, she's out. She's out. Uh, Good. Uh, oh, this is the last chocolate I ate today. Oh. Cool. I can tell you right now, though, the only re- one of the few reasons I can feel why I haven't played a lot of video games as of recently is because the soundtracks are terrible. For most games? A lot of them. I like they got. Like the no, I it, it's it's kind of stale. <laughs> Did you just like straight up shut it off? 
Mike. I lost her, Mike. Oh no, I'm the only one on the stream. There we go. <laughs> Don't touch the cord, Mike. You back? All right. What's going on? I, I can't tell what's going on. Hello. There we go. There we go. I hit the yeah. cord. Yeah. Ah. That's, that's what I thought. I was like, no, the cord. The cord. All right. All right. Back to business. I'm going to send me in there. That, that Georgia doesn't want to no, I'm back. Oh! Oh, I'm doing terrible. Bass cats. It is not like refreshing. Oh boy. Not like that. Holy. Um, Alright, so refreshing doesn't work. So he was not about that oh, at And his head turned into a hammer. What? I'm still here, I'm watching. I'm like, what the heck just happened? Yeah, just that. yeah. That's good! So now that, that character is not even in there anymore. Oh well, no, uh, it goes back. You can't kill them, they just go back to the game. Uh, yeah. Back. Mm. What? <laughs> Alright. I'm just... Yes, I'm eating. How dare you? I'm sorry. I'm hungry, and now you're gonna be eating. Oh, ah. here's look at. There's your pizza. Is that better? <laughs> it's fine. I'm just, I'm just giving it. I, like, all right. If we have to talk about favorite video game soundtracks. I would have to go with Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Um, World Goo. Oh yes, that one's a great game. Uh, <laughs> Anna. Stuart. What is that? Uh, there's these parasites that are going around killing everybody. But I'm gonna have you kill them all right now. Yeah! 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 It sounds like a bunch of weird. Oh, yeah, it sounds like pooping. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like pooping. Like somebody's got the squirts. Oh god! <laughs> is he worse? They're burrowing. They're burrowing. They're burrowing. No. I put two tiny dogs outside. Now they're attacking me again. Turn it, dogs. Oi. I, I should reassure everybody that the next time I do this, there won't be an animal buggy me. Yeah. No, oh, I, well, I mean. I never saw the first one. His first stream, they're literally trying to fiddle with the camera and like figure out what's going on. <laughs> yeah. And look at him now. <laughs> well, Joe Rogan was always like a great comedian. Yeah, yeah, no, no, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying though, like yeah. the quality before was like. Yeah. You didn't even want to watch. You're just like, uh. Oh. Nah, he was learning, and now he had Elon Musk lighting oh, a yeah. cigarette with a flamethrower on his fucking show. <laughs> Stuart! Stuart! Man, I'm yelling at I'm yelling at a dog. What are you doing, dog? Alright, we're gonna keep I'm gonna keep going for Gives me this half ass bit. cracked out smile. Like, hey buddy. <laughs> Good. Oh boy. Oh what day are we on? That was bad. Um <coughs> Day 12. Day We're coming up day 12. 
Oh my god. So what happened was, you know how there's like the green dawn, red dawn, whatever the dawns thing? that was. CC? So it, yep. the next thing that happens is noon, and it gets harder, and I didn't want to fight those things because they're pain in the butt. They would murder all of our stuff. That's not a flower. Order all the employees to get away immediately. The more oh. it has, the more beautiful it is. Oh. The city still remained beautiful, and the emerald ro road sparkled brighter than ever. This reminds me of um, uh, Wizard of Oz or something. Then do that one. Yeah. yeah. I knew what the other two were, too. One of them was <coughs> or uh, an, an angler fish that burrows to the ground. It's pain in the butt. <laughs> Uh, boo 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 boo. Drug man. Let's keep going with the drug man. Yeah, he looks so sad. Probably has something to say. Does he? Yeah. Okay, back, oh, gee, back to what like I was thinking about the. Uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking about the other music, uh, video game soundtracks I like. Oh, yeah, um... yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what had a good no, soundtrack? No, no, yo. You know what had a good soundtrack? What? Um, freaking. Uh. Jesus Christ, why can't I figure it Animal Crossing had a good soundtrack, I think. Like, Never hour, played it. It was, it was just some banging music. Never played it, Whoa. so I would not. I can't, I can't agree nor disagree with you. Some good stuff. Was... I, I can trust. Um. I mean. You can't say I, I honestly think you can't put Tony Hawk in there. Any of those yeah, games, yeah. any like the skating games. If it had like real like other band music, it had a good yeah. um, playlist. You can say licensed music is always out. Yeah, but it unless, was good music. <laughs> yeah, unless the music was exclusively licensed to the game. So, with that exception. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, one of the better cover albums out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had. Oh God, well, who'd they have on there? They had the Hot Snakes from San Diego, who their lead singer has been in bands like uh, Rocket from the Crypt and Mark Sultan and the Night Watchers. Bunch of other stuff. I can go on the spiel about it. Uh, they had Thrice covering Minor Threat. They had Taking Back Sunday covering The Descendants. Jesus. A lot of oh, it was so good. And I, it, it, what was even more interesting was a lot of the bands that did do other covers, like The Bleed, they uh -huh. did a more straightforward cover. I think it was them covering uh in the house of suffering by bad brain huh. so and it wasn't it wasn't in their style that they usually played they did like a straight up kind of goofy straightforward punk version so and um who else was it Thur i think thursday did a cover of ever fallen in love with someone by the buzzcocks uh, <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> I love the soundtrack. Oh, God. I mean, it's it's way it's it was beyond good. So, well. it, it had contemporary or contemporaries at the time doing covers of their favorite hardcore punk bands, and it was great. Um, oh, that's what that yeah. is. That's what happened? Why. Remember when I said Wizard of Oz? Oh, the Scarecrow. Yeah. I remember this guy. If you do any sort of intelligence with him, he breaks it. So you can't put smart people in there. Yeah, you can only find, try to find a money in there. Seriously? Yeah. They, do, they went there. They went there. You boop. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So, yeah, what do you think it's of fun. this game? I know, like, I haven't really showed much. I think it's a uh, cool, like, interesting idea. Like, 
I would like to see another game like this. Cause, okay, so a little backstory on this game, because I didn't really talk about it, like the development uh -huh. of this game. Um, it's a, I believe it's a South Korean game that did really good, but when it translated over to America, um, they like ripped them off, and it was pretty bad. And so a lot of things weren't translated right. What mm -hmm. the? F what just happened? Scarecrow got out. Looks like Get I go deal with him. Get him! I'm sending Wes over there too. What the hell's Wes? Too, somebody was too smart for him. Oh damn it, they're both busy. Guess I'm gonna have to go beat him up! <laughs> He's coming to save you! I need to send somebody else, but I think you need to get me before I can get him. He's a scarecrow in pursuit of knowledge. I can't send you though, because you'll murder us all. You'll kill us what? all! You'll kill us all! Because you have the gun that pierces through gun? everything, so it'll hurt us all. It's a good gun though. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm gonna kill this guy by myself. I believe it. Get him! Oh. Yep, he died. Yep, we gotta retry. <laughs> we gotta start over! <laughs> And this is where it begins. I should have just left, left of just me and him because I realized I could have taken it myself. Mm. I didn't have enough uh, belief in myself. <laughs> I dragged all the weaker people into it and now they're all dead. Alright. Send a dum dum to the scarecrow. I don't know. I know, right? I should be sending dum dums. Let's go send this one. Oh boy. Let's train these peoples. Get them up. I'm just trying, to, I'm honestly just trying to get to the next to be honest. Yeah. Isn't, Yike, Yike. isn't that what we're all trying to do, Mike? You're right. We're just trying to get to the <laughs> next day. Get to the next day. <laughs> so, how was your day at work? I don't know. I'm just trying to get through it. What the, was that you? What? Or was that the that that <laughs> forsaken murderer character? Both of us. <laughs> okay, I was like, I heard heavy breathing. I freaked I out for a second. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> well, so. Oh no, that's not good. He's meh. Oh, Sometimes meh can cause him to get out. Oh. It's Sam Paul in. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Um, let's keep dealing with that room. Let's send these people in here. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. We're gonna be alright. We'll be okay. Alright, everyone's doing stuff. Though. Probably gonna get purple. I'm gonna down. create my own soundtrack to this right now. Yeah, honestly, that was one thing I don't like about this game is I wish they had more music. They have a lot of music for the cutscenes. Well. They have like nothing for the other stuff. Well, I mean, how much programming power would it take for you to switch up the music every day? Every not day. Much. Okay, well, what do I know about video game creating? Look at me over here. Oh, I wish what's her face didn't jump off of Orange is the New Black. I liked her. I used to watch this show. Uh, it was uh, the lady who played Donna? From that 70s show? Oh, oh God. Oh, she got off the show? Oh, yeah, she, she's, good, she's done. She was like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with being a lesbian. Yeah. You know what? That, that, I swear, that's what everybody told me. It's like, you know she plays a lesbian on that show? I was like, yeah, but... I mean, good for her. She can act. You know? yeah, yeah, what does that yeah. have anything to do with me having a crush on her? Wow, that's it? Yeah. Oh, no, you no, got no, it? No, I mean, uh, for this thing. The only tip that they gave me is that if you do bad, he gets out. That's all it is. Yeah, he's just a murderer. <laughs> huh. pretty, uh, murderer with a big head. That's fine. At least not interesting yet. Yeah. We're gonna have 
somebody use that thing yeah. for once. Yeah. Well, I mean, he is interesting because oh, when oh. he breaks out, he his head turns into an hammer or something. I don't know what it is. Well, maybe that's how he murdered people. He turned into a metal, a metal caterpillar. Whoa, what? My stats are going down on this person. Why? Let's just say it. Let me say it. I would be sad too. Apparently, everybody here is a robot, though. Nobody's an actual human, so it's kind of funny that. They even complain, they're like, why do we have emotions for? We're only robots. Oh, we're done with the day. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this guy's breathing in my ear and I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, nobody died. Great. What about Theta O's 2? Oh, nobody died. Great. Oh. So, like, On a side note, Bruce Lee's daughter told Quentin Tarantino to shut up. Nice. <laughs> because... Even though what Quentin Tarantino did depict in the movie was whatever, slightly accurate, and uh, based on a true story. Wait, whose daughter? Uh, 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 Bruce Lee's daughter. Oh. Yeah, because that scene yeah. between him and uh, Brad Pitt and every everybody who was filming it was uncomfortable with it. And Quentin was like, I'm Quentin Tarantino, go fuck yourself. Wait, what, what happened in the scene, though? I don't know. Well, spoilers. Quentin, Tar uh, Quentin Tarantino had the actor oh, yeah. who played Bruce. Oh. Really fast, sorry. I'm going to pick a magical girl. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, so, what happened was uh, the scene in question was a fight between the character that Brad Pitt played and Bruce Lee. And he depicted Bruce Lee as being kind of arrogant and full of himself and losing, almost almost losing to uh, Brad Pitt's character. Yeah, but that actually happened now, though. Well, not the arrogance. No, the it was... Whole, uh, um, from what I heard, it was that. And they said after that he became a little bit different because he realized that he can't win all the time. Because yeah, the guy I guy was I, a grappler and like Bruce Lee didn't know that kind of stuff yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, he pretty much showed him grappling stuff and it kind of like he was like, "Oh shoot, you would probably got me." Cuz the guy that he's based off Nope. Did you totally touch the cord again, didn't you? <laughs> Son of... There we go. Wait. Loading, loading, loading. Get those cords up, loading. There. Ah. Yeah. Oh. You there? Can you hear me? Coming through. Coming through. Hello? There we go. Oh my god, man. I hate when I, the, the wire is very sensitive. Like, I can't. Oh, but anyways, so like I was saying, like the guy Brad Pitt was based off of... From what I've heard, you know, I don't, don't quote me on this, but he was like an actual stuntman, like professional stuntman. He was like really good at fighting and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah. He yeah. wasn't like okay. The thing is, it's not. They're not saying that you know Bruce Lee was not as good of a fighter as the guy. It's just that Bruce Lee wasn't aware of the kind of fighting style the guy did. Yeah. And it kind of took him off guard. But like, uh, from what I heard, like Bruce Lee wasn't like being kind to him. And. Uh, I don't know, and like I said, I, I don't know for sure, but basically, Bruce Lee did get grappled by the guy, and he yeah. was freaking out and was just like, what the heck, man, put me down, and started getting mad at him, and the guy was like, oh, so, you know, I just, I was, I was afraid you were going to kill me or something, because I guess he got mad at him, and after that, they became friends, and he learned how yeah. to grapple with uh, the guy, so yeah, yeah. got a magical girl. Let's say, even the, they said the guy... The guy's still alive, isn't he? I thought he was alive and he saw the scene. He was like, yeah. He was a little upset about it, too. He was like, that, blah, 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 this, and blah, 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 that. Yeah, I don't think it was perfect. That's why it wasn't exactly what happened. Yeah. So, yeah, I get you. I, I, Quentin Tarantino probably should have asked how it happened instead of just be like, yeah, like, sort of what happened. Putting his own spin on it, yeah. yeah. And he, he does have to be respectful of the image that has been depicted of somebody's <laughs> father. Yeah, because that's that hurts. It's not, yeah. you know, like Bruce Lee is such an icon. 
that for another icon to kind of make him more of a running gag would um, would really upset the the balance that he brought to his um, his image. Yeah. I mean, later in his life, outside of the brain hemorrhage, he did not know he had. Um, he was trying to be a little more enlightened, a little bit more open, and he was one of the more he was one of the more uh, well known, bigger uh, proprietors of interracial couples, like. Yeah him and though nobody uh, knew about it until I found out recently myself Johnny Cash the same thing didn't know that didn't know Johnny Cash uh, was uh, married to somebody that wasn't um, that wasn't white so that was interesting to me at least ah broken hearts what just happened? Holy oh, mackerel. Turned into a dragon thing with arms. Probably go stop that. So she's a magical dragon girl. Yeah. What made her so upset? I don't know. Wes is on the case. Oh, Holy Jesus! Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! What the hell just happened? That was, uh, not good. Looks like it tired her out when she did that move. Go get her! Oh, she's back up again! Oh, she teleported! Oh, she's over there now. Oh my god! We need to stop this! Oh god. She's charging! Fire oh in my laser! Hey, get out of there, you idiot! She's like killing her super hardcore right now. So what did we learn? Uh, don't trust magical girls. Anyways, jeez. Let's try that again. Dang, that's a crazy Boy. magical girl. Still promoting Lost in Space like it's a thing. Oh man. I heard Lukewarm reviews about that. Lost in space. Yeah, the Netflix one. Oh. I like how they're promoting Bright too. Like it, it was supposed to be a, a decent movie, and that got terrible reviews as well. Yeah, you know, I wanted to like Bright. The more I watched it, it's one of those movies where when I watched it the first time, I was like, oh, it's pretty good, and then I watched it the second time, I was like, oh, you know what? It's terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was okay. I'm not gonna say it was terrible. For me, but... You're always going into something with a bias, anyways. Because yeah. if you like, if you like certain genres and all that, you're gonna like the movie you're watching. Mm -hmm. End of story. It's, and I find that with um, all the recent film noir movies that I've been watching. Like I, I can tell it's probably ham-fisted and overproduced, but I like the goofy dialogue between the guy who thinks he's so cool. She don't want none of this. I can't do anything. She just goes crazy. She's just pissed. She's not going to get out. Not broken heart. She's out. Uh, oh, there she is. The things are right there. Like I could point out to where she is to you. Wait, where'd she go? She was there and then she's gone. Oh, she's down there now. No, she's uh, down below. She moving around. I feel like I can handle it as long as she doesn't do that stupid laser. Fire my laser. Oh, she's Oh. Get over there, man! What is oh going god, on? it goes all the way across! She Josh. don't kill everybody! Josh! Did I get hit? I got hit! I got hit! Wait, what else did 
Oh, Holy dude. Jesus! Oh, Where the I'm hell? Oh, man! God, man, this thing's annoying. Oh. Damn. Oh. Well. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly through you one more time, and then I'm I am gonna go to kick all these dogs out and go to Goodwill real quick. Yeah. Um, we're, we are running yeah. out of time. Yeah. Um, let's try one Look. more time and see if we can beat this day. And then, uh, do yeah. we, do we'll we. And our little thing here. It was good. Yeah, it worked out. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Same here. Uh... And then you, you can <laughs> be on with me while I'm trying to do statistics and watch at the same time so you can hear me, like, begrudgingly working out one problem that's taken me over three hours to do. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I pick statistics? <laughs> Excuse me. Because I want to get out of community college. Oh, come on. Everybody's going to think I'm drinking. Evil hiccups. Yeah. And I got the dog looking at me with concern. He's like, are you okay, sir? Do you need something? Do you need your head, sir? Hello, Mr. Puppy. Eat your hat. And I was like, may I take your hat, sir? <laughs> Oi. Let's see. Where's the magical girl? She's here, but I'm not touching her yet. That's on the wrong. Uh, oh, wow. Well. We'll deal with her after. Yeah. Well, that face is mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? Go He's getting sir. What is he? How? How did you upset him? What is this? He's searching for wisdom. He came to the right place. About to get a wisdom of getting his ass whooped. Never getting out again. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> doofer. Oh god, I should probably do the stat. Man, why is everyone doing bad? What is going on? The magical girl. You gotta get tips on that girl. Find out what's up with her. Go away, scarecrow! Game over. Alright. Oh god, what? Oh, now you gotta go. She's so sad. Her heart's broken. Well, what wouldn't attachment help her? Yeah, but I can't. Because remember, I told you if I try to do attachment, my head will chop off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay? the emotion. We gotta talk to you. You fine? Oh yeah, fine. Not good. Oh, she's a bigger. Wow. You need to give that girl love. You need to set somebody up so that way she can have some attachment. Well, there she goes. That is her... Okay, so... Is there a way you can equip a character where she can have some attachment? Where's she at? Where's she at? I gotta move everybody off the floor that she's gonna be at. Uh, she's downstairs. She's going upstairs. Okay, she's going over there. Everybody run! <laughs> chicka dan and chicka dan! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go have a... And she got like five people. Son of a bitch. Oh, th I, those are clerks. We don't care about them. Oh, come on. They still provide Who customer service. Oh, never mind. She still got them all. Well, there. Oh, because you were 
resist that damage. No wonder. So, okay. Am I about ready to say this? Because I think I am. What? When you were hitting her the last two times, she wasn't taking any damage whatsoever. Because I was using the wrong weapon, yeah. Okay, okay. There she is. She's doing her thing. Oh, she's trying to murder everybody. Well! Thanks for coming, everybody! This game was great! <laughs> I had a good time! <laughs> I did too. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, this is the only uh, time we're going to be doing this two times a week. Only because Josh has a free date. And only yeah. because uh, I, I streamed this game last week. So check out my streams. Um, but uh, we, I just wanted to show Josh this game. Because I just streamed this game last week. I just wish we could have got farther. But unfortunately Magic Girl, Magical Girl here stopped us from getting anywhere. So that's yeah. great. That um, girl wants you love. And you just can't give it to I her. Just, So is Josh, so Josh can be <laughs> <laughs> We've both taken four notes. Anyways, guys, oh my goodness. we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I will upload this as soon as possible because it's, it shouldn't take much editing. It's literally just us talking. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. We'll